Okay, so we are building the moss pole for the Silta Bacana. First things first, I'm going to soak my moss. This is my key. I think they are so cool. around my house with them and it did nothing and then it died okay and because I'm dealing with mealy bugs I'm gonna add a bit of this to the water So because I broke a number of roots, I'm going to add this. Probably won't do much, but can't hurt. And it smells nice. So I'll leave that for just a second. And I'm going to try, because this pole is so big, it dries out really quickly. So I'm going to try and see if I can make a self-watering moss pole. They seem to be, you know, all the rage these days. I have this Venetian blind cord from Bunnings, but this is dirty, so. Clean. I have a cap. I'm going to feed. This is all just experimentation poured through. There we go. See how well it works with a really long one. I'm worried that it won't work because everyone that I've seen do this have done it with really small moss poles. So I don't know. Ah, it is out the other end. this into some sort of knot. I'm not a knot person. And in terms of this guy, I think I'll just, I don't know if I should go around again. Yeah, whatever. Okay, now comes the tricky part. All right, I have this uh, plastic trellis from Bunnings that I am cutting not really in half, but I'm cutting so I have two bits and together they will make up one bit. Duh. But that will um, hopefully be long enough to have a semi-decent moss pole. So I can fit more moss that way and I think the roots are happier. And that way, if I ever have to take apart a moss pole again, we won't have the disaster you saw. That was my, sh that is my shower. Bit one. What I'm going to do to start with is cable tie these two strips together. We just so happen to have clear cable tie. I have my mealy water plant starter water moss and I hope I have enough. Okay. We're gonna 
take this upstairs and see if it works. 